G'day guys, it's Jim from JagFX and this video is just going to be a demonstration on how to use the period converter which basically means um, with MT4 um, they've only got the default time frames for charts of 1 minute, 5 minute, 15, 30, 1 hour, 4 hour, daily, weekly and monthly and as you know I've been using um, the 12 hour charts, we're going to start using the 12 hour charts I've also been playing with 8 hour charts uh, it just gives you more options I guess I know the MT5 platform offers a lot of these time frames but as we do, or as I do all my work on the MT4 platform I thought I'd show you how to do it on that particular platform it's not too hard um, so here I've just got a demo uh, with IG it's, just a, it's a fairly clean platform that's why I'm using it um, now if you go into your navigator panel and open you've got your uh, ex indicators, expert advisors and scripts if you go into your scripts you'll see there's most MT platforms have a um, period converter which is a script. Now scripts, all they are is similar to I guess a custom indicator or an indicator but um, they're only used for one event. Now we could use this script and all you do for this, right? for example, say I want a, um, a three hour chart for example. I've got the Aussie USD one hour chart up here so if you put a chart that's a mo it's it's going to be a multiple of what you want so to get three hours you could use I'd use the one hour chart and when you drag this on here you'll see when you drag it onto your chart uh, go to inputs and it's it's a basic script so period multiply factor so it's already default three so basically what you're saying is three times one equals three obviously so you press OK now that's on your chart now but you you wouldn't know it, there's no indication that's on your chart so if you just right click anywhere on your chart you'll see this extra line on the box and the drop down box remove script so that just lets you know there's a script on your chart so now to access the three hour chart for the Aussie uh, one thing I must tell you you have to leave this one hour chart open so you can minimize it but it has to stay open all right so all you do to get to access to your three hour chart is go up to file top left left click on it bring up the drop down menu go down to the second line and it's got open offline just click on that and it'll open up this box and you'll see AUD USD hour 3 so there's your 3 hour chart it's only got 701 bars but that's, that's no big deal so all you do is you double click on that and here it is opens up your Aussie and you'll see down the bottom here we've still got our Aussie 1 hour chart now we've got an Aussie USD 3 hour chart and it's got in brackets offline um, now this is a 3 hour chart and what you can do is you can add any template or anything you like to that so just you know, right click on your chart go to templates so we'll put from the book on there and there it is and there it is there's your 3 hour no, it's missing the QMP filter. I'll fix that up later. Um, so there's your, there it is. Now the problem by, with using the script um, is that it has its limitations. What I mean by that, you can't, for a start, if you change profiles, if you're in a different profile, um, you'll have to reload the script. If you shut down your MT platform, MT4 platform you'll have to reload the script so it's time consuming and it's hard work um, also it's not that reliable the script uh, you may have to refresh charts um, 
sometimes you'll notice if you were going between say your one hour chart and your offline three hour chart prices might be different it means the three hour offline chart is either stop so you have to either right click bring up the box and go to refresh which is just left click on that and it'll just refresh the chart or reload your template on there again just to get it going again so the script even though it works it has its limitations and you can't use EAs on a offline chart at all with using the script so I wouldn't I don't particularly like it as I said it's hard work the script so what I did I did a bit of digging around so I'll just get rid of this now I'll just go back here right click remove script so all you do is left click on it once and it just takes it off so if I right click on it now that remove script's gone so the scripts it's, it's a bit of a pain that using these sort of indicators or uh, the script because it doesn't there's no nothing on the chart to say it's on there other than right clicking on it and bringing up that box but what I did I did a bit of a digging around and I did find a um, custom indicator it basically does the same thing now I'll just find it for you kidding me here we go now I'm not sure what this blog is or it's called Friday job um, and it goes into explaining about a period converter script and um, then this indicator replaces that script uh, it's called a P4L period con 509 <laughs> I'm not sure where they come up with that but it's um, that's the name of it it can be can be downloaded from this site and I'll put a link to this site and also um, the Forex Factory is another site I'll show you in a minute that has a bit more information on it where you can download this link and read up on it uh, download this indicator and read up on it yourselves but I'll just show you how to um, how it works so I haven't downloaded it yet so to, I'll just run through how you download the indicator in case you've forgotten uh, open data folder and things aren't happen anytime soon are they here we go MQL4 indicators because it's an indicator custom indicator goes the indicators folder um, find my desktop here it is here there is a different couple of versions of this um, basically they do the same thing I think so copy that indicator from my desktop and paste into this so it's in there bang bring up my thing all right just indicators just click on one refresh so it refreshes my indicator list all right got the same Aussie one hour chart there Let's have a look what I call it. There it is. P4L. So you can either double click, left double click on it, or just drag it on your chart. Or just drag it on. Go to inputs. Now, as you can see, it's got a lot more bells and whistles, this indicator. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure how they work. I haven't really read up on the. Because um, you can uh, apparently can um, you can shift the bars shift the time and that I'm not sure how it works if someone does work out how to do it please let me know because it hurts my head when I read all that stuff on the Forex um, factory thread but people smarter than me will work it out no doubt but this is the one with after the period multiplier so again we want that three hour chart on the Aussie we just put three in there press OK And you do get some sort of alerts here. Uh, getting an error. Well, not. No, oh, here we go. Let's go on. All right. Got to turn on DL inputs. No worries. So let's do that again. Uh, I wonder if it's in there. My mistake. In common tab. Just allow that DL imports, I forgot about it. Hopefully that should work. What I might do is I might remove it and start again. All right, 
Okay, the list. Delete. Close. All right, let's try again. All right, click on Allow Deal Imports Inputs. Change the period multiplier to three. Press OK. All right, and it gives you instructions. You get an alert box there. It gives you instructions. It's pretty simple. It just lets you know basically it's on there. Um, and it, because it's not a script, if you right click, there's no remove script. As you saw before, um, you can get an indicators list and it comes up in your indicators list where you can modify it, etc. So it's definitely there. Same deal as before. Get a file, open offline. Here's your Aussie USD three hour chart. Open it up, it's there. Right click template, bang. And once it catches up, ticks over, there we go. So template's on there. Now, using this indicator, um, it's a lot more reliable than the script. Here I can change profiles, and when I come back to the profile this is on, it will still be working fully functional. I can shut down my MT4 platform, and when I open it, it should be fully functional. Um, you can also add EAs to it, I'm led to believe, but I'm also told that some EAs will not work with it but some would. Now I'm not sure, that's just a matter of you guys testing if you want to use EAs on it. So um, it's a much better option using the custom indicator as a period converter instead of the default MT4 script that offers the same thing. As I said, there's another website here. Uh, where are we? So this is where you can get the custom indicator from, read a little bit about it, or I'll send you this link also. It's a um, a thread from uh, Forex Factory in the forum, and it's about eight pages long. But under the very first post, there's a heap of information on the indicator and the different versions of it. You can read that as it's pretty involved, and it's just got a lot. I had a lot of updates, etc., on that. But I'll give you the link to that also. But I'll just give you a, a couple more examples. So we'll go back here. All right, so we want open another chart. So we go to file, new chart. All right, let's pick the Euro GPP. All right, so that comes up with a a um, one hour chart. Now, if I want the um, twelve hour chart like I'm doing, I would just try to go to the something as close as possible with the most data. So for me, that'd be the four hour. Um, and go to my indicators, double click, make sure that DL imports, it should be, just make sure that DL imports is ticked. Well, it's not letting me tick it now, what's going on? Right, I'll come back to it. Right, computer's taking a sweet time. So, Again, it's three, three times four equals 12. Let's go to deal imports, tag that, okay. Press okay. And like the script, you have to leave these main charts, like the Aussie one hour and the Euro GPP four hour. You have to leave them. You can minimize them, but you've got to leave them on, the, on, the, um, on your platform. So I've got a file. Open offline, and what are we looking for? Euro GP 12 hour, there it is there. Right click, template. And there's your 12 hour chart on the Euro Great British Pound. Let's do one more example. We'll go down, say for example, you want a, um, let's think of something a bit different. Um, pick a new chart. CHF Japan yen one hour. Use a five minute chart. Oh, you just go on slow mo, isn't it? Or not. Man, oh man, something's jammed up here. There we go. All 
All right, here we go. I've got a five minute chart. And say we want a example 45 minute chart. Now, I probably wouldn't use the five minute. I do apologize for this. For some reason, this platform is really going super slow. Yeah, if I was gonna, if I was after a 45 minute chart, I wouldn't use the um, five minute chart, I'd use the 15 minute chart. Because if my math serves me right, 315, is that 45? Yep. All right. It's taking forever. All right, let's get this on here. Same deal, put the indicator on the chart, go to inputs. All we're worried about is the period multiplier. Oh. Yeah. Always the case when you're doing a video that something like this happens. All right, I'll probably leave it as is, guys. What I'd be putting in here, 45 divided by 5, now thinking about it, is 9. No, I'm going to leave it as is. You get the idea. Use the custom indicator. Here we go. Use the custom indicator instead of the script. Look below the video, you'll find the links where you can download from either all page. Uh, with a bit more explanation I'm giving you here and um, yeah it's a pretty handy tool it's not perfect um, but it does the trick let's see if we can get this file up open offline what are we looking for 45 minute charts there it is there and it's not opening There it is. Not much data there, but you get the idea. So it's a good, it's a good handy tool, and it's um, quite useful. If you want to trade, trade off time frames that aren't default from MT4. All right. Sorry about the hassle near the end of that video. It's just a pain, and um, hopefully that'll help you out. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop us a line at, on the Facebook page or um, through the comment section on the YouTube video, or just drop us an email at jagfx33 at gmail.com. Cheers.